As the world marks Menstrual Hygiene Day today, Join users Fred Kwame Asari throws the spotlight on how some teenage girls in Mafi Dove in the central Tong district of the Volta region resort to the use of unhygienic means uh, in taking care of themselves during their menses. Meet 14-year-old Patience Amenohu, a junior high school two pupil of the Mafi Dove Community Basic School. Her mother migrated to Yeji for economic reasons when she was five years old. So Patience has been living with her grandmother. She's selling some small item, but she don't have enough money to be giving us to school. And looking after me, she's doing a bad, but it's very difficult for her to look after me. Patience says since she experienced her first menstruation, getting access to sanitary pads has been difficult. Her grandmother struggles to eke out a living to take care of her, so she is compelled to use pieces of cloth during her menses. If it dies for my menses, she sometimes she don't have money to give me to buy sanitary pad. And at that time, if she don't have money to give to me, I'll stay at home. And like sometimes that she have money to buy the sanitary pad or go to school. And if she don't give me money to buy the sanitary pad, she give me a piece of clothes to use. We have been surviving on the little income for my petty trade. It has been very difficult providing her needs which includes food, clothes, sanitary parts and others. Sometimes, when I don't have money to buy her sanitary parts, I tell her to use a piece of cloth and stay at home until she's done with her period. Fourteen-year-old Vera Mokla is also caught up in the same situation. She was also left in the custody of her grandmother by the mother who also gave up taking care of her some few years ago. Her next menstrual period is almost due and as always she is washing an old piece of cloth for use. I have started menstruating but grandma doesn't have money to buy part for me so I use a piece of cloth. Due to this, I do not go to school. I don't feel comfortable when I use the cloth and it is not hygienic. Vera's grandmother, Abuya Goka, fears she might end up engaging in immoral acts to meet her financial needs. My prayer is that she doesn't get rolled by men with money since I am unable to provide all her needs. If this happened, she might get pregnant and drop out of school. I followed up to the Mafidopa DAJHS and the headmaster Eugene Tojagbo complained that period poverty is having a toll on the academic performance of female pupils. The school so far, I've taken notice of five female students so far in the school who read their menses, did not come to school. And uh, when I find out from the student later when they come to school, they may tell me sometimes due to menstrual pains that they go through. Then others say because they don't have proper uh, sanitary parts to take care of themselves. So in fact, I made several attempts to see their parents to see whether they can be providing such needs for their children so they come to school during those menstrual periods. But so they, they have not made any improvement on that. The phenomenon of period poverty partly contributes to the increasing incidence of teenage pregnancy in the central Tung district. The district recorded 522 teenage pregnancy cases in 2017, the highest in the country within that year. Until teenage girls get access to free or affordable sanitary pads in this part of the country, their general well-being and academic life will be affected. Fred Kwame Asari's report for Joy News.